Welcome guys, today we're going to program this ACO Model number is D14123-F0003 And this is currently installed with hot equipment So this is in heater To do that, we're going to proceed first to the PO codes here Types of operation and it's being set to one inverted heat and to do that we're going to long press the set button here here long press it for 10 seconds then let's proceed to fnc here the configuration then reset and we are now in PO we're going to press set again and let's change 1 to 0 then press set and we are now in chiller or cool I mean and then we're going to set this into chiller and my set point is 1 degree celsius up to 4 degree celsius and let's, es let's escape here ok let's go to here RE we go to RE then reset next after the set point is CO calibration this is calibration by default put it to 0 then next C1 C1 is probe 1 differential hysteresis so this will be my here for the C1 just subtract 4 degrees Celsius into 1 and that will be 3 reset again and let's locate the C1 reset and I'm going to change 2 into 3 then reset then next is C2 and C2 here is upper blocking of the set point of the set point and my highest set point here is 4 degrees celsius so I'm going to put 4 degrees celsius into this for let's try to change the C3 which is the lower blocking set point that is set to 35 and I'm going to set it to lower down there and I'll go to 1 degree celsius there, you, there we go press set and let's go back to the C2 the upper blocking of okay there then I'm going to press this button again and next is C4 and C4 here says type of delay for the protection of the compressor uh, let's press set and zero on off then I'll go for I'll go for one the one is on since start up uh, reset so I'm going to put the value of one there I want my time delay for the on of the unit then C5 protection delay time 
value of the option selected from the C4 parameter. So I selected one here. So I'm going to put a value. Then press set. And I want one minute time delay only for the on of the compressor. And it's done. And next is the C6. And C6 status of cool relay with a probe faulty. Since we are now in chiller, I want my C6 status of cool relay with probe fault. Okay, then let's go to C6 and we have a selection to zero, it's off. If one on, average based on 24 hours by fault. So we can program this C6 into here 3 on off as program with C7 and C8 there then then let's go to C7 and C7 time relay on in case of faulty probe okay here in case this, that this sensor got a problem here once this one got a problem the compressor keep on running and it's set to 10 the default so the 10 minutes there is enough to cool the operation during faulty probe your compressor will not will not turn off but we need to turn it off also and let's go to C8 uh, time relay off in case of faulty probe so the, manua the manufacturer set that to 0 and I'm going to put a value of 5 instead so 5 minutes off 10 minutes on then set and we are now done with the compressor so this RE level is for the control controlling of the compressor and let's go to the defrost folder that is level 2 okay here we go to the defrost press set and under DO defrost frequency time between two start so here it's set to hour and we're going to press that set here so I'm going to put a value of 6 so every 6 hour this unit although there is no relay for the defrost the compressor, the compressor will rest and every six hours it will defrost and after that I'm going to change the value of D1 and D1 here maximum defrost duration and if set to zero there will be no defrost happening then press set and I'm going to put duration so I'm going to put a value of 20 minutes every six hour the unit will defrost for about 20 minutes then press set and let's proceed to D2 and the D2 here is the type of measurement during the frost if we select zero current temperature if we select one temperature at the start of the frost the appropriate for this is the 2 so during the frost a label DEF will show up so I'm going to press and it's being set to 2 ok so let's proceed to D3 because it's now being set to 2 and D3 here maximum duration of message time added at the end of the frost Okay, here we're going to max 5 
I usually use 8 temperature set and that's it okay next here is the PO set again after the DEF let's proceed again to FNC and FNC is the configuration press set and we are done with the PO we already select the zero which is for cool then let's proceed no 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 set and let's proceed to P2 instead delay of all function on receiving electrical power okay it has P1 if you want to delay all the function of receiving power you can put one minute if you want but I don't like this function so let let me set it to zero and let's go to P2 instead and P2 code access code password okay let's see P2 code okay it's being set to zero inactive I want to test this guys reset and P2 set let's try to block access of parameter or to block access keyboard lock there reset and good luck to me <laughs> okay so it's being keyboard lock I lock the keyboard then reset and let's proceed to P P2 ok it jump P5 and here's guys let's proceed to P7 it's very important P7 is the temperature display mode reset Okay, the uh, va the default is, I guess it's being set to three, but zero. So I go to one deci decimal in degrees Celsius. So I'm going to put a value of one there. I select one instead of zero integers in degrees Celsius. And after that, the P9. Look at the P9, guys. The P9 is, is the selection of probe type. If if this is zero, this is NTC. If you use PTC, set it to one. There. But my sensor is NTC, so I'll go with the zero. Then set. And let's see if all my program is now being. Uh, stored here yeah. access and let's go to ls and ls access code password let's see if you accept my code set set ls okay Let's restart it. I'm not going to set the value for the LS for that is the code password. Oh. There we have a one minute time delay. It's not yet being activated. If you notice guys, I for the P7 here. I choose one and that is one decimal in degree Celsius. Now we have a 0 0.7. While in heater, we are in 24 only. That is integers, so there is no decimal point. Now let's just wait for the one minute time delay for the activation of the compressor. And that is stated here in the 
time delay okay there it's now being activated and let's see if my keyboard is being locked okay this is the programming I don't want programming I'm going to change the set point first because we did we did not change the set point and to change the set point press the set button for three seconds one two three okay we will set ls is asking so i'm going to put the value of one now we're going to access the programming by pressing the set button here and let's put the value of one reset 